care if I'm buying GTs, VVs, small thing to a giant Tap phones, track holes, what's the use of you spying? Her furs, your furs, house cat to a lion I ain't doing no lying, I ain't doing no creeping No, All I'm missing is a jack o lantern Trick or treat is in season All your jewels is now freezing All your pumps is now teasing Every heel is like six inch All your jeans is now squeezing When you in it for the long haul You crawl with her, you ball with her She shotgun and my milk goes so damn right I'm gonna spoil with her Woo! Like Joe to see, she forever my lady On a talk show, I'll tell Maury I'ma take care of that baby ah, Push, baby Hi guys Yeah So See I told you guys I'm trying new stuff Why do you want to believe a player you know Alright So This wig That I am currently rocking I ain't gonna show you my kitchen Cause it probably looks a mess But other than that I think we're good It's from a little company called My first wig Now let me get to the specs for y'all because I know some people about to ask me and I just want to be thorough. Thorough. Oh, okay. That's not it. And I grabbed this with a vengeance. This is not it. This is a natural color. It is 20 inches. The texture is silky, which is a lie. My lace is a light brown and my size, my cap size is a one. With this, they gave me a bag that came with it like this and this came with an adjustable strap in it in case i wanted to you know sew this in and then it also came with which i really do like these clips a whole lot guys like i ain't gonna lie these clips be popping and then it came with i believe this is yes yeah, a comb a rat tail comb and then it also came with and came with an instruction manual i'm gonna do that as well and then it also came with this like wig dust bag which is cute you know sexy and then it came with my favorites which are the uh, double nude caps which i'm wearing right now okay i know this is very unexpected even for me because i even though i'm in it it's still a little off to me it's different um and this is because uh my first wig had hit me up and was like you know we're doing a Black Friday sale. We want to send you a wig. Do you have anything uh, in mind? If you don't, we have this new, very natural texture coming out, which I don't remember what this one is called. It obviously will be here, but it when they explained it to me, I said it's Italian yet. Yeah. They hit me up about it. I was just kind of like, okay. And they was like, you know, are you interested in doing another review for us? And I was like, okay, well, it depends on what you're doing. If it's going to be something that I've already done before, no thank you. Just give me something that I haven't done that I can play around with and do something a little bit different with. So they was like, okay, well, we have this new texture coming out. And the texture, when they explained it to me, I'm like, sounds a lot like Italian Yankee, but I'll take it. And they was like, you know, as a full, you know, as a full lace wig, which I personally prefer full wigs over wigs that I have to make because it's one less time and it's much easier to obviously manipulate. So when I got the wig, the first thing that popped in my head was, won't you do after you guys really were like, really liked the look, like the girl and a boy look that I did for my Toy Story lookbook. I was like, why don't I just do something like that? So from now, now on, a lot of my wigs will be kind of they may be unisex in a sense. This could be unisex too, just depending on what kind of girl you are. Um, I know right now I'm looking like somebody's baby daddy, Aesop Rocky's boo, because <laughs> I think he's cute. And um, yeah, so you know, I did my straight eyebrows. I put a very sheer amount of foundation. Um, yeah, and that's about it. <laughs> Which is was great because it took me all of like 10 minutes to get ready. So to the wig. This is a full lace wig. I bleached the knots on this. I did notice, let me just say this off top. If you notice that my scalp is a little bit on the brushy side, that's because I had to bleach this wig twice because when I first did it, it didn't take, the knots didn't take like I wanted them to. And the thing about wigs that like, I'm not, okay, how do I explain this? When you get a wig, most of the wig, I'll just show you. So here from about here, here is all lace. 
and back here is a stretchable cap. So if you will notice, the color that's here is not the same color that's back here. It's it's kind of like two different colors. And the, the color in the back looks more like my scalp than the top does. And that's because, pretty much because I had to bleach twice, it kind of over bleached. So then I was kind of left with this and I kind of had to make it work. But I know now that either um, I'll use a different, there's a, I'm starting to use different bleach for my bleaching. Even though I haven't had any issues with it, I just want to kind of give myself a bit of, a bit of an option. So... Um, I'm starting to use different bleach. Uh, all I did was, after I bleached it, I let it air dry. I didn't blow dry it, although you can, because this is definitely human hair. You can bleach this hair, although I would not, because the texture of this is very much so. I'm sure in the beginning you guys seen how coarse and thick this hair is. So the only thing I did was put a part down the middle, and then I just used some good old... I used this uh, Layrite. Hold on. I used this good old Layrite. Um, and I use this for when I have the short James Dean hair. This is the pomade that I use for it. It's $17, but I got it from Floyd's Barbershop. I don't know if you can get anywhere cheaper. You probably can get it somewhere online much cheaper, but I needed it right then and there. But I use this for the parts to go ahead and comb everything and then braid everything down. Um, what I had to do was I used my bigger wig block to do this. And I wish, I didn't know really what I was going to do when I got it, but now I've kind of did the trial and error with this. If you plan to do anything like this or anything that's going to cause tension in your hair and your wig at all, make sure you get a size up. Because this wig would have fit a little bit better on me if I had a size bigger because I would have had to, you know, I could have compensated for the tension. But overall, it came out well. Um, my I got my stocking cap up under here, so it kind of slid back as it always does. But, um, yeah, I got all of this right here are actually my edges. And then my wig starts about here. And I just used my baby hair to go ahead and uh, disguise the lace that is a, a, and around the front of my head. Now, if like I said, if this was a bit bigger, I use bobby pins here in the back. But if this was a bit bigger, then I would have been able to take the lace that is back here. I'll show you in a second. The lace that is back here. And I would have been able to actually got to be glued this down too. And I would have been good. Um, and it also probably would help if I would have got me some, like a fresh beehive. Right now I just got me some. It looked like this up underneath. Um, so yeah. But I do really, really like, it was very easy to braid. It took me a bit longer because I had to make sure that, or just a side note, if you plan to do anything like this, do not uh, cut the lace off until you are completely finished. Because trying to redo these braids with not that extra lace in the front to pin down is a nightmare. And I don't think you'll be able to get it as slick like this in the front if you don't have that extra window. So if I have to take these out, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, but... Um, yeah, I just went ahead and braided these through and when I was done, I was like, okay, my original inspiration for this was Nipsey Hussle because Nipsey Hussle usually wore his hair like this all the time and I think it's a ridiculous, I think he's cute. Um, and him and Lauren Lennon just had a baby, so congratulations to them. And, um, I was like, I just want to do something that's a little bit on the hood side, a little bit different, but still work like anybody could legit do it. If you know how to braid, you could do this. Um, I just had to use the, um, the big stick pins, like the T-pins, a lot of those around the entire perimeter, cause you're going to be grabbing and pulling a lot. And I used my bigger, uh, wig block because I wanted to compensate so it would not like buckle it buckle in the back because the stretchable panel in the back is gonna it, it's gonna make it want to buckle on you so i had to kind of this was a kind of a trial and error uh with this this particular unit but i'll get close so you guys can see what it looks like i hope it's not like but this is what it looks like up close and yeah nobody knew this was a wig everybody just thought it was my hair and i just went ahead and braided my hair down after like a blow dryer or something you know um it has a um stretch i mean it has an adjustable strap here in the back and it also has one comb back here there are no combs here in the front not that i know of and if they were combs up here i probably cut them out because it wouldn't have worked with this it has to be as flat as possible so if you have no hair this will work great if you have a uh, very little hair to mold it back or put very small braids in this style would actually very much work now the only downside i will say to this particular wig that i didn't like is that 
because this is supposed to simulate scout because there are bands and straps and all of this stuff that is it, like the construction of this it made it a little bit harder for me to uh braid like i wanted to so what ended up happening was i had to put more braids than i wanted to there are four on this side and there are four on this side nipsey hustle usually wears three on both sides so he he ends up with six i have eight but that's the only thing, and that's because these wigs are not necessarily made. If I was going to do this, I would have done this either with one or two things. A full lace wig that's laced from here all the way back, or I would have did this with a silk top unit. Because a silk top unit, uh, the silk and the stretchable pin on the back are usually the same color, at least for me. So once I braid them down, um, then it would have looked like the same thing and I wouldn't have to bleach anything. So I did bleach, because a lot of people are going to ask, I did bleach the actual stretchable uh, panel in the back because those, um, those uh, the hair on that still need, like the knots still needed to be bleached. But once you bleach those, because there is, it's more of a fabric instead of lace, it just turns more like a scalp, as you can see. More of a scalp color here versus up here where it's more of a brassy color. And that's just kind of my fault because I kind of over bleached because I had to do it twice because it just didn't take the first time. So, my my first wig, I'm going to give you guys a nice 10 only because I feel like this is a great unit. It's a great texture. Um, anybody could wear this and get away with it. It was very easy. I haven't had any major shedding with this. I haven't had any problems with trying to put it on. I hadn't had any issues like at all. And I'm totally in love with this. I can wear this on my bad hair hair days <laughs> and actually get away with it. So if you guys are interested, make sure you guys hit the links below. They're also having a Black Friday sale if you guys are interested. And um, yeah, all the specs for this particular week will be below. And I will get y'all on my next one. Peace. And tell me, did you guys like this style or not? Because I'll do.